I'm invited here today to share, share with Eric and Melissa a very important moment in their lives. The time they have been together, the love and understanding has grown in the church. And now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. I ask, who gives this, who gives this woman this man in marriage? You may be seated. Here we go. Eric and Melissa, we are here today to celebrate the bond that has grown between you. The love that has drawn you together is a precious gift and the greatest blessing in human existence. The relationship that you have nurtured together stands for love that will blossom with each growing passing day. Marriage is the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives as one. Marriage is caring much about the welfare and happiness of your marriage partner as your own. Marriage makes burdens lighter because you divide them. It makes joys more intense because you share them. To make your relationships succeed, we'll make love. We will take trust in knowing your heart you truly want the best for each other. We will take dedication to stay open and honest with one another and to learn to grow together. An intimate, secure relationship is not based solely on promise, but also on trust, respect, faithfulness, and the ability to forgive. A lasting marriage is based on all things bound together by love. Eric and Melissa, I now call on you both in the presence of your friends and family, your face on holding your hands beautifully like you are, and dedicate your marriage vows to each other. Please repeat after me here. Thank you. 
very important for me. And it's my faith and love too. Thank you, Ray. I ask you more to you dedicate your marriage to Thank you, Eric. Be my husband. Help us share the good times and the hard times by your side. I give you my hand and my heart as a sanctuary of warmth and peace. to be your wife. Do you promise to love, adore, and encourage her? Share the good times and achievements as well as the harm times and disappointments. Keep her in sickness and in health and be loyal to her forever. Thank you. Melissa, do you take Eric to be your husband? Do you promise to love, adore, and encourage her? Share the good times and achievements as well as the hard times and disappointments. Keep him in sickness and in health and be loyal to him forever. I do. May I have the rings, please? <laughs> I got a spare one up here. Yeah. How do you compete with that? <laughs> the ring, it's a symbol of an unbroken circle of love. Perfect in shape, the ring has no beginning and no end. May these rings always remain, remind you of the vows you have taken here today. Eric, can you please take Melissa's ring? Please place it on Melissa's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faith. And I place it on your finger. And I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows we have spoken today. Melissa, can you please take Eric's ring? Place it on Eric's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. It's a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger, I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows. May the sacredness of this moment and the vows and the rings you have exchanged ever remain as a priceless memory in the hearts of each of you. May you have perfect love and peace together. Now, Eric and Melissa want to do a nice little special ceremony to symbolize this union of two lives. So I'm going to ask the new couple to come over. Eric and Melissa, today you are making a lifelong commitment to share the rest of your lives with each other. Your relationship is symbolized through the pouring of these two bottles of wine. One, Eric, representing you. All that you were, all that you are, all that you will ever be. The other bottle of wine, Melissa, representing you. All that you were, all that you are, all that you will ever be. Like wine, your relationship is filled with its own unique beauty, strength, and character. The wine can stand on its own and be full without the need of anything else. When the two wines blend together, when the two wines are blended together, they no longer can be separated, just like your lives together. 
Today you are uniting your lives together. And the blended wine is a sign of your unity. The life that each of you have experienced until now, individually, will hereafter be united. You two shall become one. Please, drink now in celebration of the pledge and the blending of your two lives. Cheers. love which can make it a glorious and by love which your marriage shall endure. Today, your separate lives, your individual memories, desires, and hopes merge into one. You're adding to your life not only the affection of each other, but also the companionship and blessing of a deep trust as well. You are agreeing to share strength, responsibilities, and to share love. May you be a blessing and comfort to each other, sharers of each other's dreams, consoler to each other's sorrows, helper to each other in all of life's challenges. May you encourage each other whatever you set out to achieve. May you trust each other, trust life, and be unafraid. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitement that marriage should bring. And may life grant you patience, tolerance, and understanding. And with these in mind, and the vows that we have spoken here today, and the power vested in me, I can now pronounce you husband and wife. Eric, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Eric Froh. <laughs> 